Hi friends, it's Linda. I am back with another journal flip through. It's been a little while. I've uh, been busy with grandkids, and um, which is a good thing. But I have a small little angel journal that I'd like to share with you today. And I just had such fun putting this one together. I love angels. So it's a small one, um, which seemed to be pretty popular in my shop, the smaller journals. I made it from a, um, an old file folder, and it is tied together here with um, some seam binding. And it's got this adorable little angel, little trio of angels here with their candles. This is a, an image from um, an old Christmas card of mine. And I used a lot of images from, of, from my uh, collection in this journal and uh, also one grouping of digitals. All the little round images are from a digital and I will link the digital information um, in the description box. And I put a little charm here, a little crocheted piece and a hand sewn, or not hand sewn, but machine sewn little ruffle to embellish the top. Okay, so let's get started. Hopefully I will stay in frame and you'll be able to follow along. I have a little pocket on the front with a little angel card. And I used a lot of my scrapbook papers to make this. This is a vintage, I'm gonna hold this up if I can, a vintage napkin that um, I came upon the Midnight Clear. It was something that I found at an estate sale. And this is some text from a vintage book, a Christmas book. It's a little bag. And inside the bag is my signature little decorative tea bag with some Christmas tea in it. And I hung some dangles on the tea bag strings. So you can have a cup of Christmas tea. And this is the other side of that oh, decor decoration there. A little town of Bethlehem Christmas paper. Hark the Herald Angels Sing. This is a little Kool-Aid dyed index card for journaling tucked in here. This cute little angel singing. See that? Okay, we have my uh, some a lot of my own coffee dyed paper. This is some vintage graph paper, and this is a two pocket, two vellum pockets. This one has a vintage angel image on it, made into a journaling card. This top pocket up here has some. Um, journaling paper. Focus on the good, it says. And the pocket here is a vellum um, music paper that has a metallic gold um, musical print on it. Lots of journaling space. An old scrapbook page. This is probably my favorite page little um, pink Christmas here. This is a Kath Holden fabric. I made into a fabric flip with some crocheted lace. And this adorable little matching um, angel was from my angel image, image stash that I attached to the opposite side. So I love that page. The colors are just really fun, vibrant. This is an old children's Christmas storybook and coffee dyed doily. There's another little image, one of my angel images from an old card that I made into a journaling card tucked in this pocket here. It's a little page tab of some holly. This is a Christmas card. It's actually uh, my mother-in-law passed away last year and 
I got a big box of her uh, Christmas cards and this was one of them so it was sweet to um, add to this journal. She would definitely approve. She was a very sweet lady. And on the back side here is a really it's a four pocket spread that I made. Here's a little um, stamped image. This is a red lead paper um, stamp. And Project Life card that I just made, a, gave it a little bit of a Christmas touch. And a coffee dyed index card. And there's even yet another space back here that something else could be tucked. This is my coffee dyed paper. This is the center. She's so cute. I love this little angel. And sticking out of the top and of the bottom is this beaded center strings from the signatures. You can either put them both down, you can put them both up, you can leave them in the center, but I added some, just some beautiful sparkling beads from my beading days. I can't do too much beading. Even this amount of beading caused me quite a lot of pain. I have arthritis in my thumbs that um, I had to give up my jewelry making. And I seem to be able to do okay with books, but I can't do too much beading to add to it a little bit. Some tickets. Here is an envelope, and it's got an envelope with some, oh, adorable vintage angel stamps and old Denison seals and um, things like that. Just little things from my stash. I been collecting angels and little angel images probably most of my life. It's always been something I've loved. And here's another little fabric flip and it's the other side of the Christmas card. And this is another Kath Holden um, fabric that I just put a little snippet of on the top. And every time a bell rings an angel gets her wings from our, all of our favorite Christmas movie, right? It's a Wonderful Life. And this stamp set along the, the, this one, this one, and it also has an angel image, is also from Red Lead Paperworks. It's my favorite stamping store. Um, this is one, another very dear and favorite Christmas card image from my collection. And another, <laughs> say that on every page, right? <laughs> Love me some angels. Thank goodness for them. Okay, some more pages here for journaling. I actually made this image into um, a Christmas ornament for my daughter-in-law that looks like any one of my three grandsons. They are all sweet little blondies and my daughter-in-law and the boys all love bunnies so this is a one of my favorite images here's a little angel um, beaded dangle that i made can you see it i hope so and a fabric ruffle i added and here is a uh, little journaling card here index card in this pocket and page flip. Look at these girls. These little angels are answering the switchboard. They must be answering prayers back in the back in the day. I thought that was really cute from an old um, Christmas card. And there's a little index card for journaling, extra journal space behind it. Look at how adorable these little angels are. She's helping her arrange her halo. And this 
is the other side of the bag. And I'm going to tell you, there's a little Christmas present in there from me to you. It's something I handmade and I'm not going to show you. It'll just be something special for the recipient of this journal. And we are to the back page. There's a pretty little angel postcard in this back pocket that I made from a note card. And that is it. I covered the binding. It's um, one signature sewn in. It has about 16 pages or about 30 for actually no, 16 sheets, 32 pages and 64 sides in this little journal. So it'll hold a lot. It's pretty, um, pretty much of a gator mouth because I just couldn't help myself. I added, but there must be 20 little angel cards in here. Um, I kept adding to it because I couldn't stop. So um, I think it is very dear. So that's this one for today. It will be added to my Etsy shop at some point today in my Etsy shop. The name of it is Vintage Joys and Jewels. I've been trying to change the name to Vintage Joys and Journals, but I am one character too long, one too many um, letters. So for now, I'm still Vintage Joys and Jewels, but the YouTube channel is Vintage Joys and Journals by Linda. So just to clear that up. I have um, more journals to show you. I'll probably do another video or two today. But for now, this is it. Thanks for watching. Have a great one. Sending love. Bye-bye.